Hello there, you gorgeous lot. Welcome back to Crafters TV. I hope you're having a brilliant weekend. We certainly are here because we've got so many amazing shows coming up for you. Uh, a little bit later on today, of course, we'll have Second Chance Sunday. But before that, two whole hours in the Craft Vault. Celebrating at uh, the end of summer sale, of course, which is run up until the 2nd of October. Make sure you head over to the website and have a little look at all the glorious things that we've got in there at up to 70% off. We're adding new items all the time as well, so keep checking back is what I would say. However, we've got some deals in this show that are even better than 70% off and we'll be showcasing some of those end of summer sale items as well. And it's not just me that will be doing that with you throughout the course of the day. She is, oh gosh, she is back at my <laughs> TV wife. Uh, she's here, we haven't seen each other for ages, how it are you? It seems like forever, Joe, doesn't it? But yeah, I'm really well. For a Sunday, it's a good day. It's a bit chilly up here, out north. Hung over um, today? Uh, no, I didn't have a drive. Oh, fabulous. I drove, yeah, I drove last night. So, uh, yeah, we give Ben a lift home last night. He oh, was, he was he a bit worse for wear? Yeah, he did text me today and said that he was, um, he literally, just after we left, he just fell asleep in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was fabulous. So, uh, uh, and we've had a really busy morning it's been great you love the re so they were really busy so thank you for tuning in for that it's been amazing uh yeah and then we've got some amazing deals now haven't we we certainly yeah. certainly have definitely get across ahead on the website crafters tv uh sorry crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu if you want to get in touch with me all the normal ways crafters tv on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you're over on YouTube. Sarah Brown says, hello again, my friends, Debbie and Joe, and all the CTV gang, hoping uh, all are well and sending hugs from down under. Terry Tom uh, is saying, hi, Joe and Debbie from Ohio. Was there any, like, great gossip from the uh, party yesterday? We obviously weren't on air here yesterday. Uh, we're having our uh, staff barbecue. I wasn't there, but Debbie was there. So I'm thinking, any hot gossip? Well, I wouldn't say hot gossip. Um... Sarah did really rubbish on a TV show last night. TV show? Yeah, she was on the hit list. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was rubbish. How rubbish? Mm -hmm. Really rubbish. Like? Although she said that she thought she was going to be rubbish, so that was fine. Right. But she said Amy was even worse. She was more rubbish than what Sarah was. So, um, yeah. What, it's is it like a general one, knowledge though. show? I, and I'm saying that, but I wouldn't be able to get it. So it's, it's hard. Mm. Oh. You have to name the song and who sung it. Oh no. That's quite hard. And we tried to we tried to just guess the jingles of the shows here oh, and you absolutely do that. Failed. You thought you were gonna like just <laughs> nail it. I just put masterclass <laughs> every single one. Maybe just pick one and stick with it. That's the way to go, it is. Uh, let's dive in loads of you still show uh, saying hello. Marta says good afternoon from a sunny Dundee. Joe Holzer is in South Dakota as well. Let's jump right in then and have a little look at this because this is, oh my god, a colossal saving. On these. Let me show you some of the things you can do with these first because these are amazing. This is an 80% saving that you've got on here. It's our Country Village Craft Vault Collection. 73 dies, five stamps. Looks beautiful this way. There you are. Uh, <laughs> it was Leslie Oldfield that made that one. There you are. Uh, and then you can also do these ones. You've got lots of different sort of sizes and shapes of buildings that you can create from a whole host uh, of different papers you can get involved, different types of cardstock. Um, they are brilliant, whether you're making them individually or joining them together into kind of big scenes. You can even do things like churches uh, with them as well if you want to by joining certain ones of those together, let me pop that there so you can see that. Let me show you what you're getting then, because you do get an awful lot uh, in this particular collection. This one here, so you're gonna get dies and then a template for each individual one. So the dies, they're going to give you all of the embellishments, all of the accoutrement, if you are French, Debbie. I'm feeling very bilingual this morning. Uh, that one there is your village church this afternoon. Thank you, Johnny. I was obviously addressing directly our American viewers. Clearly, I'm a very inclusive kind of guy. Uh, that one there is a village church. We've then also got the manor house as well, and then you'll get the manor house template that goes alongside that. This one here is your cosy cottage, uh, and then that is your template that's gonna help you with the construction of that. This one here is your townhouse, and then you've also got your townhouse template there as well. So that's going to give you the embellishments and then you've got the template. And then finally, the thatched cottage too, which is that one there. And then you've also got the thatched cottage template to go alongside that. Brilliant these if you're really wanting to create like a suite of, you know, items and theme them. I'm thinking big bay windows. You could really go to town uh, and make it look really cool. Really, really busy on those. 
Not, not hard to see why is it really. I mean, they were great value at the usual price. They were very busy. Uh, we launched them here on Crafters TV. There is a craft along. You can go back and watch with these as well and a full launch day. But today you save £105 or $121 and then you get your Club Inspire discount on top of that as well. So maybe they've been sat on your wish list for a while. Maybe they're one of those things you thought, I like them. I'm not sure I £129 like them. Today's the day to come in and grab them. Mary Ryan says, good morning from nice and chilly Maine. Uh, Rosalind Russell says, uh, good morning from Maryland. Karen Bradley is in West Virginia. Carol Guy is in Wisconsin. Cynthia's in from Texas. Alistair says, hi, Joe and Debbie. I'm watching, but not from far away today. Not from far away, is he? going to make a cameo he? appearance today? No. Will he not? <laughs> he would. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get him in during Second Chance Sunday, absolutely. Yeah, well, as soon as he came in, he was in free, he was where you are, Joe, yeah, looking at we'll the camera. Yeah, so we'll get him in. So like, oh, Al's yeah. here, he's backstage. We will be bringing him in at some point today. <laughs> Two Debbies, absolute horror. I'm sure he can talk to us about a story or something. It'd be fabulous. We'll all have a lovely time. I couldn't trust him on air. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right in the comments, you know, we can keep him at bay. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. What have you, what have you, what have you got for a second? Yeah, I've got some fabulous dyes. These are amazing. Uh, what I love about these is the versatility of them. Now, you know how we talk about an edgeable, we talk about a creator card. These are centerpiece creator card. It means that you can cut them into the center and they become that main focal point. That doesn't do it a lot of justice, that one, but I will show you some samples of them. Uh, there's lots of different designs in here. Is that right? All of these nine dies are 26 pound. Oh Brilliant, my isn't it? goodness. That's crazy value. These are gift giving prices. These are raffle prizes. These are your craft club prices where you can do craft clubs um, and charge to make something with them. Every single person could have their individual dies. Uh, there's lots in here to choose from. I love the fact that there's sort of winter and uh, spring ones. You've got the butterfly meadow there. You've also got that beautiful woodland fairy, which is just absolutely stunning. They don't have outside cutting edges, so they literally cut right into that center pieces for dog lovers oh it's the one thing I did see yesterday Joe is um, Ben's little puppy oh Ben's got a new puppy Molly is it Collie. Molly oh Molly so Collie. cute oh she is so stunningly beautiful um, so, oh I just wanted to take her did home did else have a puppy as well Oh, that was, um, so Laura, Ben's wife, does dog walking. Ah. So it was a puppy that she was uh, dog walking. Yes. How so cute. She had two puppies. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then we've got the ones that go um, a different way around the car. So this is beautiful. You're in Enchanted Forest. Uh, and then you've got the Into the Woods with those gorgeous stags. So absolutely lovely. Now, I have got some samples to show you because they really do showcase what these dyes can do. Uh, and we always say this, when a dye is amazing, it's because the design team go all out and create the most amazing cards. So I love that one used as an actual topper offset on your card. Uh, and then this one as uh, they designed is in the centerpiece of that card. Super easy to do and use. Uh, the cat one for all cat lovers there, absolutely gorgeous. Keep it really simple, just cut it into black card. It looks really effective. I love that silhouette style that these dies are done in, Joe, because you don't really have to do a lot. But if you do want to do something like shadowing, uh, create them in different colours of cardstock you can also do that as well but the silhouette ones really do make them stand out doesn't matter what you've got in your stash to be creative with them uh, you can do that but if you do want to get really creative uh, use your inks to colour them in uh, your pens use your glitters lots of different ways that you can do them but to show in the comparison of those two dyes looks totally different using them as a shadow or colouring them in so absolutely gorgeous this one has been used as the dye with a stencil so if you stencil through, you can get those beautiful colours all the way through for that butterfly. Um, colour them with your watercolour cards to make it look totally different. Um, and there's just, if these go on, I can't believe there's nine dies for £26, Joe, at $34, which is absolutely incredible. I love the simplicity of this one, just a nice watercolour background. Um, what about using your gilding flakes? Look at that. I mean, that's stunning. That's really cool, and isn't using it? it as that sort of tunnel vision card. That's from Martina, M Martina Murray absolutely stunning and then one more which is that beautiful rose so using it as a panel through the center of a card or what about this one like a pop out on the front of your
your card there. How stunning is that? Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Uh, these are amazing prices today, Joe. £26 or $34 is an absolute steal for nine dyes and big dyes and very versatile dyes. Yeah, so they are saving you £61.91. Or seventy nine fifty five. We don't have anywhere near as many of those as we would like. We're down to the last couple of hundred of those, which can, of course, go very, very quick. If you're watching this show back at a later date, definitely check the website for the stock situation, is what I would say. Uh, we're going to move on and look at these. These are statement words. It's something lots of you know and love using already. It is, of course, uh, your statement words that you can see there. These are brilliant. Um, they just, I love the sort of, uh, style of the font that you've got on these. 9.99 each is what these would normally set you back if you were to grab them individually. So again, you can see the value you're getting. Whether you're using them in that edgeable style, as you've got here, or just taking it all the way out and use it as a topper. You've got the option to do both on this. Uh, and you'll get love you, um, love you even, happy birthday, uh, th thank you. Uh, you've also got special day, and you'll get hello you as well. Let me share with you some of the amazing things that you can do with these because they will build so well into your concept card. So that's just a sort of standard edgeable there, bit of matting and layering. You can see you've got something really cute. Love that it gives you the aperture because you know what that gives you, Debbie? Oh, does it give you opportunity? It does, there? it gives you exactly that, yeah. So you've got the opportunity to craft in the background uh, of there. You've then got as well shaker cards they incorporate beautifully into there. Love this easel style card as well with a ribbon. That is very cute. Who's made that? Let me just get the T in the right place. There we are. Um, Rachel, the lovely Rachel Gillum did that one just there. This is beautiful as well, a Z fold, but it's been done then with some little banners in the back there, matted and layered. Very, very sweet card. That one, another simple easel, just bringing in a bow die. You see how you've really elevated that. This one here. That's a really cool way of using it. So just a sort of standard upright card, but doing two on there. So you've got one on the base and one on the front fold too. Let me share a couple more with you. The thing I love about these, they make very simple cards really effective. You don't really need to do too much with these. Look how cool that one is there with a happy birthday done in the holographic. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is stunning as well with some uh, floral papers that have been added into there as a lovely little thank you card. Let me get that to stand up. There we are. Um, there's so many great samples, Debbie, I can't stop showing them. You know, you just go, I'll just, I'll just have a rifle through and show a couple of these. And then I've got going, and again, bringing in your paper pads that you already have, maybe your uh, Nitwits collection, it's gonna work so well there. Bringing in some of your larger double-sided florals, as you can see. Definitely a collection of dyes that you can add into any, any element of your stash. They will work with any of your different uh, collections that you may have. I absolutely love this card, stunning. Let me show you this one. How cool is that? Beautiful little thank you card there with a the ribbon. Just a handful uh, of some of the hundreds of different ways uh, in which you are going to be able to use them. Uh, 1450 or 1950 saves you £35 or $45, which is excellent value for money. Platinum members, 1160 or 1520, exceptional value. Uh, I've got to say happy birthday to Kirsty. Kirsty Hingston says happy birthday. Uh, hello everyone. Sorry I'm late. It's my birthday today. Making Christmas cards and matching tags. Oh, happy birthday. Lovely way to spend your birthday. Absolutely. That's a great day. Yes, yes, being crafty. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> right, what you got next for us? Right, I've got some fabulous diet. Can I just say, Joe, the prices are a bit insane today. They're mental, aren't they? Uh, absolutely mental, yeah. So you have to snap these up while you've got them. Um, these are some of our favourites in the studio, which we adore. So this die here creates this beautiful pop-out. I love these. The simplicity of these dies is unreal. You just literally pop these into your middle of your card and they pop out just like so. So you've got your with love, then you've got your many thanks, then you've got your just for you, then we have our best wishes. Um, I mean, aren't they beautiful? Look at the 3D effect that you're getting in them. Absolutely amazing. And then, of course, a die set wouldn't be anything without a happy birthday, uh, which is probably the main one that you're going to create in there. Now, as you can see from that pop-out, what happens, that die creates all the pop-outs of the die cuts, but it also puts in these score lines. So all you have to do is bend and fold them, uh, and you get just that amazing effect that comes out.
about the middle. Now, in actual samples, they look very effective. Uh, and I love the fact that you can do them in any of your cardstock that you've got at home, so any paper pads that you've got. You can cut the letters out as well. Now, bearing in mind, all these letters will act as sort of alphabets, so you could probably make lots of different words out of them as well, because you've got so many. Um, and they're just great fun, great, um, great hidden fun, because everyone that opens a beautifully decorated card would not expect to see something that looks really lovely on the inside. So I think that's what we have to keep in mind with dies like this. They offer that surprise element as well and super easy to do. Um, they're just beautiful. I'm going to show a few more. But the other thing that I love about these is that you can create them into other projects as well. So even though all these are done with all the pretty papers, um, you can use anything in your stash. So you, if you like stamping and then to have that surprise of just for you inside. I mean, surprise. How, that's amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, surprise. Uh, but look at this one. I'm going to bring this one over which is absolutely stunning. Now this all folds flat, so if I just push that all down, all folds flat, but then pops up into this beautiful freestanding card. Uh, I absolutely love that. I think it's a great little uh, piece um, and looks nice, doesn't it, when you get in the post and you put it up on your um, bookshelf or wherever you put your cards uh, and it's gonna look absolutely lovely. Uh, but these dies today, you're getting five of these, all these different words for 19 pounds or $21. Only 15 pounds, 20 of your platinum um, normally 12.99 each 12.99 each and you're getting all five of them for 19 pounds so absolutely snap them up today and again think of gift giving christmas coming up uh, all those raffles that we do all those sort of lucky dips uh, over christmas um, these are going to be amazing dies to have in uh, anyone's stocking yeah they really are brilliant uh saving you what 45 pounds 53 dollars which is awesome. Alistair's back in the comments. He's found his funny bone today, I think. He says, I preferred the older dog, Mac, yesterday. He said, I'm all right, thinking that Laura met Ben when she was out dog walking. Apparently, Ben had escaped his lead. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear him laughing in the green room? Uh, Bev says, I always love all of the samples. Uh, Claudia says, I've got these pop-out sentiments. They are fab. There was a question about the village. Uh, Terry Tom says, I'm in the process of making a haunted village with the village uh, Ooh, dyes. Oh, great idea. Um, but says, Debbie, I want to light them up. What would you use, a yellow vellum or a grey vellum for the windows? Now, there's a good point. I think yellow vellum's a great idea um, because you've got the colour there straight away without having to have it lit. So during the day, you could just have it yellow and you'd still notice it. And then at night time, it would light up even brighter. Um, so yeah, if you've got yellow vellum, that would be great. And if you haven't, um, acetate and you could use your alcohol pens over the top for uh, the yellow colour and that would make it glow as well. Mm. Perfect. That. Give that a go. Uh, we're going to move on and we've got these some delicate layering panels here for you uh, it's a four pack because what you've got is three of the delicate layering panels and then a bonus pop out as well let me show you the, with you the layering panels first you're going to get this one here which is your entwining vines brilliant for adding texture these in the back of your projects then you've got this one here which is your peacock feathers and you'll also get this one here, which is your perfect peonies that you can see there. And then you'll, we'll get this included as well. Uh, one of our pop-outs, and it is the presents that you'll get in there. So brilliant, again, like Debbie was just showing us with the previous pop-outs, for making the inside of your cards more exciting. But that one with a decorative element. So you've got the ability here, this die, you can actually cut that out of any kind of colour or style of cardstock you want, mount that up over the top. It's a really cool concept, that one. Let me show you some of the ideas um, of things you're going to be able to do with the panels themselves, because they do, whether you're colouring these up, whether you're cutting them from pattern cardstock, they really do take on a whole new life. They look so different when you incorporate them into a card. Whether they're the focal point, whether they're going to be something in the background that's adding texture, as you can see there, play around with your inky techniques on them as well. They're absolutely crying out for those. Whether you're doing them as a standard card or as an easel card, you can see there, this one's beautiful. Very, very simple colour wash. A little bit of a sentiment on the front of there, and it looks a real wow. This one's a bit of me, Debbie. Look at that one. bling alicious, isn't it? That one there, but again, you've got those peonies nice. on there. So cool. A little bit of colour on the peonies. You've got the background papers behind, uh, and then you've got the feathers that are in here also. Those ones there, and another there that's been used with the vines. But just shows you those two, actually, side by side. You know, they look very different. They are exactly 
the same die. It's really good to have uh, versatile background panels in your collection, which you'll know you're going to be able to do loads with uh, and color them up and change around the way that they look. Um, will the village dies fit through the Gemini Junior? I guess they would, would they, Debbie? Uh, all the dies yes, because yeah. the, they're stencils, aren't they? The stencils are the larger elements. Yeah, so yeah. all the dies would, I think. Mm -hmm. Just having a quick look. Yep, they will. Brilliant. Good to know. Uh, who else have we got chatting away here? Yellow it is, says Terry Tom. Um, mm. And Barbara says, good morning, everyone from Indiana. Good morning, Barbara. Pleasure to have your company. Good What's morning. next, Debbie? Yeah, what next? Stamps. You know how we love stamping? We love um, stamping. These are amazing stamps. They're beautiful. Uh, they look amazing. Now, we cast these as our aperture stamps. Uh, because as you can see, they have a space in them that you can stamp into. So you can either stamp your embellishments, you can either stamp those words, your sentiments. Um, they're absolutely great. I love this sentiment here. If nothing um, ever changed, uh, there would be no butterflies and that would be an absolute shame. Uh, beautiful stamps, photopolymer stamps I might have to add as well, um, which means that they're gonna stamp beautifully first time every time. So you've got your ornate butterflies in this collection. You've also also got your balloons in flight I adore this one I think it's just a great one to have uh, in your stash this is the one that when you don't know what mail card to make it's a good manly card and I think it's just a great one to have not that you can't use it for women obviously but um, I think it is quite good for that um, I love this one so you've got the aloe you uh, in this one which is beautiful this is a great stamp to color in if you want to just practice your coloring it's got some really nice uh, just the right amounts to color in on those leaves uh, then we've got our birds and branches. You can see those little birds at the top and all our sentiments on there. And actually what we do have here, Joe, is a really comprehensive set of sentiments and verses, which is, is great to actually use in everyday crafting. Um, you're getting all of those 66 stamps in total for £23, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And then our next one, and bearing in mind these are £12.99 each, normally um, so you're almost just getting one with a pound off so you're getting two and then all the rest for for nothing which is amazing um, and then just a few little samples we're going to show you so that hello you uh, absolutely beautiful um, but so many different things that you can create with these uh, using that middle section to uh, stamp your sentiment making them onto bigger cards which always look great i think the butterfly one is exquisite it's just a beautiful design uh, I love it because you can colour these in, so you stamp them, colour them in. But if you just want to stamp them, I mean, look at that one, using different colours of Gorgeous. our pigment ink pad and then heat embossed, they look really effective. What about cutting them down, so not using them like fully on a card? That looks amazing. Uh, just a colour background and then stamping on top. Uh, again, just separating all those different elements looks really incredible. Um, using different ink pads to stamp with. Um, you don't have to colour them in if you don't want Want to but if you do I love this one done in um, gold embossed and then colored in uh, there's just so many I mean you're right Joe with the samples it's looking through them and there's just so many to show uh, because they all look so beautiful and then our last one just that balloon one I have to show you I think that's absolutely gorgeous I mean what an encouraging sentiment that is the sky's the limit that could be for anyone with a, a new job passing a driving test their graduation I mean so many different different things and a good old-fashioned shaker card using that element in that balloon looks absolutely classy so I love these stamps so what have you got next for us Joe? yeah brilliant brilliant value today definitely snap them up well, I've got 54 pounds or 63 dollar saving 1840 or 2120 if you're a platinum member a lot of love coming in for your color me happy earlier uh, Stephanie says anyone that didn't see the color me happy show this morning needs to go back and watch it it's like a master class thanks Debbie for all oh, the inspiration you're very welcome we had some such lovely uh, comments uh, and we literally just played with them Joe we didn't have any finished demos mm. we played the whole way through for two hours and it was yeah it was a really good show and you love them and loads of you bought all the reinkers which was great Mar marvelous make sure you go back and check that out you can watch that back as with any of our shows here at crafters tv we're going to move on first a little sort of uh, a really nice collection here that are going to play together nicely or separately it's a uh, dimensionals craft vault collection now you've got in here we've got some of our favorite boxes for you firstly these are the kind of things 
that you're going to be able to do with these. They are awesome for little gifts. They make great things like bloom weights as well. They're perfect if you want to make your own ones of those. 16 99 each they should be. So really, just for one set of the favour boxes and a few more pounds or dollars, you're going to get absolutely everything. So in the favour boxes, this is what you're going to uh, receive. You've got the ornate favour box, which is the first one just there. And you'll also receive the happy heart favor box so they're the kind of things that you're going to be able to do with that the other item you're getting which i'll share some samples with uh, you in just a second are these uh, you've got your dimensionals these are glorious they make kind of like snow globes but something you could use all the year round an amazing uh, hanging decorative ornament in the heart and in the butterfly these should be 15 pounds each as well so actually you put all that together 64 pounds or 80 dollars is what you should be paying for this today it's 19 pounds or 23.50 and they make such fun projects they really do uh, and one of those things debbie i think that you're going to you know make for someone or give someone they'll be like how on earth have you managed to make that because they are absolutely stunning love the one with the love hearts here you can really get creative as well you could use you um, use more or less sides uh, if you want to build these up make them quite striking actually maybe even use them as a two-dimensional topper if you wanted to as well you can just leave them quite plain if you want to i love how you've got these dangling uh, butterflies uh, in these ones here as well let me just show you again uh, how that one goes just there really great collection they're saving you 44 pounds or 56 dollars which is rather marvellous don't miss out on those we don't have many of those either nowhere near as many of those as we would like so you will need to get a wiggle on if you want them it is the favour boxes that will go first and the problem is once the favour boxes go the other ones as well the dimensionals they'll be 15 pounds on their own again so if you want to get it all together for 19 pounds or 23 dollars you need to get it into your basket and get it checked out right debbie what's next mm, try fold apertures um these are a great concept so make a little bit different. Um, I love the fact that you can just use them as stamps so you don't have to use them as intended with the actual aperture. Uh, but what they create, they create that um, trifold, which means you have the first fold and the second fold to create those three panels inside. And then you layer them up pop them on top of each other and voila you have that beautiful trifold again what you have here is a comprehensive set of stamps so you've got all your sentiments you've got your verses and you've got those die cuts and they're really simple to use uh, so our first one is our birthday bunny then we've got our best buddy which is the dog one uh, then we have our you mean so much to me you have my heart with the gorgeous owl. I absolutely love that one. It's not very often we do owl stamps, so that's a gorgeous one to have. And then the last one, you've been on my mind. Now we're doing these today, you're getting 47 stamps and 10 dies in there for $14.50 or $19. Um, yes, yeah, they are. They're so cute, aren't they? They're cute without being um, not non-adult like you can use them for all ages yeah. i think so which yeah, I, really, I, I, really, I agree that. really like that one um and yeah and again it's just decorating the inside of your card it's then having this layer that goes on the on the middle uh, and then that section on the front and you can literally make so many things out of them so love this one because that's that little doggy but then the doggy done with little spots looks like a dalmatian so you can literally personalize whatever you want your dog to look like so if you've got a dog that's um sort of black and white you can do it black and white if you've got a, a dog that's all white you can do it like that as well so there's so many different ways to be able to do them so I'm just going to show you one of each design here so you can see the actual concepts of them and then I've got two of the bunnies as well because again creating that really fun and all those stamps that you can see in here they're all in that stamp Perfect. set so you actually create with them uh, and then doing them in totally different colours look so so sweet and then if you want to then take that to a different level and create them in a different type of card like we just had the um, those zigzag uh, dies in Joe so similar sort of thing to those apart from you're doing that aperture onto um, your sort of slanted card design but what about doing them like a diorama where you've got them going through the center of the card uh, i think that's a really cool idea as well so the choices of yours how you want to use them full instructions are in the pack and today's price 14.50 or 
17, 1160 or 1520 if you're platinum price. I mean, Mad, isn't it? crazy. It crazy. is a donk -a donk crazy low price on those. Uh, don't miss them. Something else I really want to share with you. I love these and they're so cool. The way that the, let me show you the concepts first actually because I think it really shows you just how well engineered these are. So if you look, I'm always blown away. This one has used acetate in this one, but you don't need to use acetate behind them. They will actually support uh, the weight of the car just on its own. And you can see that one uh, here with this one just here that I've got. You can see that one, that one's definitely seen better days. That's not a good example. Uh, let me share this one here with you. So you can see how it's just supporting the card there, which is excellent. So you see you've got that aperture there in there where you've got those um, joining words. Or, of course, what you could do is you could pop a panel behind there if you wanted to. That shows you, um, again, another way of using it. What would you call this style of card, Debbie? Oh, it's actually called a double dutch. A double dutch uh, is what we're calling that. It's quite a cool concept, that one, isn't it? Yeah, like that. very cool. Uh, again, really cool. Using some acetate behind there if you want to. Nice to see darker cards, too. I love that. Great use of uh, black on that one there. A cute stepper, maybe. It's got a little bit of um, vellum in the background of that one. Again, whether you are going to town, I'm going to bling these up. They're going to look great. Or you can pair them back a little bit as well, if you so wish. This one here, again, that's the example I was trying to find. So that is just the word that's in the front of the die there. Yet the card fully supports itself, uh, which is amazing. And again, exactly the same here with the word celebrate that you've got in that one just there right then let me share with you exactly what you're going to get so uh, these are the sentiments that are coming your way so you've got um thankful so for you so you can then either use these on their own or you can pop the stamp sentiments either side you've got congrats proud of you uh good luck you'll do great thanks for everything love uh, so with love to you both and also friend in there as well for an amazing friend. Uh, 19 pounds or $25 gets you these, saving you 44 pounds or $58. Oh, I know there's loads more goodies to come still though. Debbie, what's next? Pop out scenes, nice. I have. Uh, yeah, really exciting little dies, these ones. So what I love about them is because it is a die set, you can use these to create on the front of your card or the inside of your card. We call them pop out because there's a, a certain element about them that, that allows you to use them as a pop out element, which I absolutely adore. Um, so that's our first one, which is our... I don't know what that actually says on the back. Secret Garden is what it says. And then we've got our time to celebrate. Uh, again, stamps and dies. So we've got the country village there. Really great one. I love the fact that you can colour these in. You can use coloured papers. However you want to use them, you can. So we've got our party vibes there. Uh, we've got our home. So always a good one if uh, you need uh, something to, a new home card to send to somebody. Uh, we've then got our enjoy the bubbles. I love that one. One. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I don't think bubble bath is what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You can have bubbles in the bubbles. You could have bubbles in your bubbles, that's very true. And then we've got our go camping, so another great one to have. So, so many different designs you can do with them. I think this is a great card, using it on the outside and then that pop out element on the inside. Uh, looks really super cute. Got lots of samples here because they are amazing. So, again, using elements of that stamp set and then on the inside, you've got that little. Oh, hang on. That, oh, it's a hanging lantern. That looks so cute. So being able to uh, cut them in, cut them uh, into your centre or onto the front of your car. That's a really cool uh, design, that one. So creating almost like that trifold, but having the pop out in that centre piece. So I think that's a great one to have. Are you all right, Joe? Would you like some water? I've just had them. Oh. That, was, that was the problem, <laughs> Debbie. I only had a sip of water. They say stay hydrated, honestly. <laughs> oh, dear. Not me for six. Um, another great one. So that's beautiful, that one. I love the fact that they've done that little spinny element on the uh, inside of there. So many different designs that you can do. I'm just going to show you a couple more of those popping out of the centerpiece. Um, and this one. And then I'm going to show you some of these, which are, uh, this one's been made as a shaker element, but on the front of your card there. So that's a, a great one to have, a little shaker element. Um, but using them on the front, another shaker card here, using those bubbles. I think that's a great one to have, that one.
one um, and then having that as that dangly little duck in the uh, bubbles on the inside love the way the um, all these bubbles go around the outside of the card really cool um, and then just using them on the front of your card so it doesn't mean you have to there's nothing inside the card so just using them as a lovely topper for the front of your card using them as that uh, sort of diorama um, and having them as an aperture card um, and again very similar design here where you can have it just in black card and a slightly different aperture card there looks almost uh, that look that could be quite Halloween -y if you made that uh, quite sort of spooky card couldn't it so uh, so lots of different designs you're getting 58 stamps 34 dies for 19 pounds or 23 dollars uh, which is incredible price uh, to, to pay for those when you're getting all those stamps and all those dies isn't yep. it Joe? Brilliant, brilliant value. 15, 20, 18, 40 is a platinum member. Uh, Alistair Vile says, I don't understand the double dutch, Joe. I, the neither. double dutch card. Yeah, me neither, Al. It's Way beyond my. Uh, and Al says, Debbie is right. Al, the Al one is cute and gorgeous. Al, <laughs> Al. Owl. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Uh, yeah, we've got another three and a half hours of this still to go. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, I want to tell you about some other stuff that's proving super busy at the moment. Uh, this is your Shaped Waterfall Stamp and Die collection. These are excellent. If you are putting these as like interactive elements on things like scrapbook pages, you're going to love them there. They're great on the front of your card, but very, very busy. Saving you 70, 70 pounds or 75 dollars. Uh, gives you a platinum price there of 2360 or 2560 which i'm pretty right in saying is less than the cost of one there for platinum members that's amazing value the twirling characters love these these are the last three that we have from this large collection uh, and that's why we've been able to give you such a brilliant price on them as well uh, you're not even paying for one here i don't believe and you are going to get all three of them they should be seven pounds 99 each Today, £7 or eight fifty to get all of them. 560 or 680 if you're a Platinum member. Brilliant in the twirling concept, but they are also really cool to use in lots of other ways. I've got sellouts to tell you about already, and I'm, I'm pretty confident it's not going to be the last today either. This, the Centerpiece Creator Card Craft Bolt Collection. We were literally about to demo these, and you have loved them so much, they've already sold out and gone. If there's anything else that you have got your eye on that you don't want to miss out on, pop yourself across to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Hit the shop the show button, hit the shop the day button, have a good old peruse, but make sure you get your baskets checked out. Talking about checking your baskets out, why don't I give you the option to do that right now? And whilst you do, let's see some of the fun stuff we'd like to get up to here at Crafters TV. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Hi everyone, I'm Lily. I've been part of Crafters Companion for about a year now. Can't believe it's been that long. It's absolutely flown by. How did my crafting journey start? Well, I have to say I've always been creative. I've always, I've always loved drawing, painting, making cards. I sort of started that when I was very, very young, making all my handmade uh, Christmas cards, birthday cards, thank you cards. And from then on in, it pretty much just stuck. So where am I from? So I currently live 
about two miles actually from head office here uh, in County Durham, um, but I'm actually from Sheffield. Something that's really sort of close to my heart from where I'm from is the fact that we've got the Peak District just on our doorstep. Crafty Inspirations, that's, a, that's an interesting one. I have to say I'm inspired by so many different things. I'm inspired just by the team we have here at Crafters Companion. The craft experts are so, so inspiring. I learned so much um, from watching them, from sharing our ideas together, and I've actually watched the team on telly for so, so many years, even before I before I first come here and I remember the first time I sort of stepped through the doors um, here at the CTV studios I was completely completely starstruck and as well our community that we have our crafters companion family that wider family that we interact online uh, you guys emailing into the shows leaving all the comments leaving pictures of your creations I find so inspiring as well it's a community where we all feed off of each other a lovely big welcoming community so I'm inspired by all you guys at home as well which I think is absolutely lovely what do I do apart from crafting well I absolutely love running I love being out in the open spaces come rain or shine or snow or hail or whatever the weather the throws us. So what does make Crafters TV so special? Well, I want to have to go with a very corny, very cheesy answer, but it is true. It's the you guys at home, it's the viewers. If it wasn't for you guys watching your amazing interaction, all your lovely comments, your feedback, your mates that you send through, Crafters TV would not be the same. We wouldn't be here without you guys at the end of the day. Oh, big crafting fails or accidents on screen. Mm, that's an interesting one. I don't think I've had anything too disastrous. I'll be back on next week and I'll have a crafting disaster you watch now. Oh, so, so busy uh, under those videos there. Lots of you checking out on lots of these amazing uh, discounts that we have for you. Remember, Craft Vault is where you find some of the biggest discounts of the week. Deborah says, a beautiful sample. They are indeed. Robin Bays Pittman says, good morning from North Carolina. Keep up the great work. Uh, lots of ideas flowing today. Any questions that you've got, you can get them into me. It's very easy. Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube. Super, super simple. We are going to go back to Debbie. Uh, I can see uh, these pop-out scenes are really, really busy uh, at the moment. £19 or $23 is your price here. A quarter of the stock has already gone just on that little preview that we gave you alone. So it's really, really busy on these. Do not miss out on them. Debbie, what would you like to share with us on these? Yeah, they know a bargain. You know a bargain out there, don't you? Absolutely. So we're going to use the pop-outs. Now, we've got no demos for this show. Again, I quite like it. I like that we can just show you uh, concepts and how to do things. So what I've done here is I'll give you the measurements of my card. All I've done is I've created my card five and a half by five and a half. And then I've created this piece of card five and a half by um, nine inches. And then I've scored at two and a half, just, yeah, two and a half and uh, four and a half and then six and three quarters. And that then folds it completely in half and in half again. So it creates this little pop out piece. Now that's going to fit nicely inside my card, just like so. Uh, and then that will open up like this. So it's really dead simple and you don't have to have instructions really to be able to use these you do get instructions in there but basically your die will just go right in the center of this pop out element now if I did want to just pop that inside here uh, we can actually cut that out of the front uh, and we can have it in the front of our card and then you just back some card on behind but we're going to do this as our pop out and just show you exactly how these work so I'm going to grab myself some low tack tape just so we can take that down now I know my piece in the center is going to cut out so what I am going to do is pop that in and then we're going to pop that into the center because it doesn't matter it's going to stick to that piece and then I've got my Gemini Junior so these will all go through your um, A5 die cut machine so whether it's the mini uh, the midi sorry or your uh, Gemini Junior uh, it will go through there and then all we're going to do is offer it into the mouth of our machine that's going to cut die cut it for us and then that's all you need to do if you're creating just that silhouette now obviously if you want to color it in or you want to do some paper piecing you can then recut it again you could like maybe cut your little fence I mean look how easy that just cut out so you've got your gorgeous design there and then that's going to fold in half so no but they've been designed to work brilliantly to cut in the center nothing is in the middle that's going to make it look off uh, and it means then that when we come to put it inside our card so let me just get some tape and pop that down 
So we'll just do that onto one side. And all I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to line it up to this outside edge, just like so, and then fold that across. So I know that's dead straight in the center. And then we can then open it up from this piece and do exactly the same onto this side. So we're just doing this very quickly, fold that on the top as well. And then what that does, that creates that beautiful pop out front. So we'll just turn that round, you'll be able to see that a lot better. And that's as simple as it is to do, just creating so just simple, that, um, we, there we go. Can't really see it very much. And actually, I'll tell you what we could do. Let me just grab a piece of white card and trim that piece down. Yeah, and it really doesn't take long at all, does it, to actually die cut it into that centre point. So I'm just going to do that five, I think we were five and three quarters. And then we'll just fold that one in half. So I'm just doing this very quickly, just by eye. So if we pop that piece then down into there, that then will Oh, amazing. That, that really go. lifts it, doesn't it? Yeah, and then that just lifts it up like that. So you can then decorate your panels, decorate the front piece. But that is a beautiful die. So I'm not surprised these are going really quickly. Uh, when you're getting all of these, Joe, all those 58 stamps and 34 dies for £19. It's incredible. Mm, really brilliant value, that. £19, $23, as Debbie said. Uh, ac excellent, excellent value for money. And something that will play nicely with probably most of the paper pads you own. Maybe if you struggle for ways to look uh, and use your paper pads up, that would be a great way uh, of doing it. Cut those into paper pads, to, to pattern papers. I think they would look absolutely beautiful. Uh, Diane says, good morning, Debbie. I love Debbie's hair. Diane, so I said exactly the same thing when I came in as well. You it's did. looking fabulous, Debbie. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm quite liking it, actually. So, new style for me. Mm, very nice. Uh, Kimberly is saying good morning as well from uh, North Carolina. Says, I love your nails, Debbie. It's Debbie Appreciation Su uh, Sunday today, isn't oh, it? Oh, and another thing I went differently with. Yes, I wasn't sure if I liked them, um, but I decided that I would go with them. And actually, I quite like them. So, nice. um, yeah, I've had just um, some nail art done. I don't normally have it now art done on them but um yes quite like them Very i thought cool. i'd just have a creative weekend creative weekend <laughs> creative weekend nice i love it <laughs> uh, bubble and squeak says happy sunday afternoon debbie joe and the team hope you all had a great barbecue yesterday uh uh what happened at the barbecue stays at the barbecue uh quips please that didn't stay that all went did it <laughs> oh it was so good it was a hog roast joe Oh, so nice. um, so if you love a hog roast, because me and Al have two different things, so I don't like apple sauce. No, me neither. No, and uh, what I, well, I love apple sauce. I just don't like apple sauce on savoury things. Right, okay. So I don't like it with pork, so I wouldn't have it in a roll. And I don't like stuffing in, a, in bread. Oh, either. I love stuffing. Yeah. Any, so, anywhere to be. So I bread had, on the side of a plate, all the stuffing, please. <laughs> so I had the pulled pork, but with fried onions. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was. It was. I love a fried delicious. onion as yeah. well. I and, mean. and there was fries as well, so I had fries. And, oh, uh, yeah. Sounds yeah. delightful. I'm hungry now. Nice. Let's go back. Uh, yeah. Beth says good morning from Minnesota. Good morning, Beth. Uh, Mary Pat said a lot of fun making the pop out scene card as well. Let me share it with you these again because you guys have loved these no uh no surprise really as well really cool dye really cool concept just to say as well if you were uh, well you wouldn't even have to be that much of a whiz really if you had a pair of scissors nothing to stop you with really it carefully with a pair of scissors going around the outside of here if you just wanted to sn uh, snip that out as a sentiment so you just wanted the actual thankful without the banner top and bottom without it cutting into a card or a concept absolutely you can do that as well you've got thankful you've got congrats in here uh that one there is good luck You'll also get thanks, with love, and you've got friend as well. Let me show you with you some of the beautiful things that have been made uh, using these, because there are absolutely loads of them. Check this one out, I love this. Absolutely loads going on in there. This one has got acetate behind it. You don't need to put acetate behind. The design is designed in a way that it will support itself if you don't want to pop uh, that acetate in there. But again, as again, you can see there, there's no acetate on that one. It supports itself. I absolutely love this one. Really striking colors that have been used. Something a bit more delicate with vellums. Um, and again, maybe they're gonna be the focal part of your card or actually maybe just going to be a, a really lovely addition to it. I think you've got the option to use them in both ways. Uh, this one here as well, uh, st a stand-up card, that one just there. Uh, then you've also got uh, this one here. That's the double Dutch card that we looked at earlier. I'm wonderful, it'll cut through 
things like glitter cards as well, which is brilliant. Prices are on your screen, so they should be £63 in the UK. Today they're £19, that saves you £44. Uh, fifteen twenty is a platinum member. If you're across the pond, they should be eighty-three dollars. We've taken fifty-eight dollars off of that, but then if you're a platinum member, it comes down even lower to twenty uh, to twenty dollars, which is brilliant, brilliant value for money. Uh, yes, Joe, there was plenty of pork at the barbecue and stuffing. Al's letting us know. I love it. We've got Al's like a running commentary today. He's uh, just just literally just around the corner. Uh, Shelby says, good morning all from Northbridge, California. Uh, any questions you've got, just get them into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion. Over on YouTube. Debbie's, she's a machine today. She's got another demo for me. What are we looking at next? Yeah. So let's have another look at the ones that you're getting in this because these are super good value. I mean, incredible value. £14.50 or $19. Um, I think these ones are going to fly out the door as well, Joe. Uh, I love the concept of these. I like the fact that if you just want to do your stamping, you've got beautiful stamps in here, as you can see along the top. Um, just those uh, delicate stamps that you can just stamp onto anything. But the concept of these is really cool so being able to open them up as that trifold card and stamp in different elements to have that sort of tunnel vision through them um, the owl one's a great one you have my heart uh, then you've got the little elephant one you mean so much uh, you've got the gorgeous little puppy here which has been done as a dalmatian best buddy um, you don't get a stamp for that you're actually just you could just draw on the spots uh, and then our last one here you're getting that birthday bunny so i did want to just show you the concept of how they work now in every single pack you do get full instructions which is great so I've just got myself just at hand because you do need a 12 by 12 sheet now we do we did do pads I'm not sure if you've still got them in uh, that were 12 by 12 in a size uh, of white linen and white pearlized paper so they'd be perfect I'm just using this one out of our luxury card pack um, but also you could use your A3 card um, we do our new um, all-purpose no multi-purpose cardstock and you could trim that down so it tells me here to score my 12 by 6 piece of cardstock to 4 and 8 inches so we're just going to take our scoreboard we're going to go in with his now i can't find a scoring tool in the studio so i'm going to um what you uh, after debbie use a scoring tool oh no i know there just doesn't seem to be one in the studio and i bought loads in a while ago but they've disappeared so they're probably all next door so all i'm going to do is use the back of my it shows you we can improvise i'm just using the back of my um uh, paintbrush that i was using earlier so once we've done that all we're going to do then is uh, score in our fold so this is going to fold directly into the center here and I'm just going to use the back of my scissors to burnish and then this one is going to fold in that way and that gives us the perfect trifold card so you can see let me just burnish that a little bit more and on the other side and that gives us our card so nice and super easy so now for the positioning of the dies I think I, I had that out and I've put them back away but it doesn't matter which one we go for uh, let's let's go for those owls so let's take them out so let's grab our dies and our stamps so pulling those out so you can see you've got your dies and you can get your stamps now I would have both at hand because what you want to do you want to create your largest piece so you've got two you've got your bigger piece your bigger aperture and your smaller aperture you want your bigger aperture to go onto the front um, and your smaller one on the inside so always do it first never open up your card and think oh this is the front I'll put that on the front always check which way it's going round now what we want to do Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, 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 stop. It's big news. Oh. We've got a new country. <gasps> no. Carolyn Keane says, good morning from a rainy Kingston, Jamaica. Jama oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Now, that's so funny you should say that. Why? Because only yesterday, I will back me up, we were talking about where we'd each like to go in the world. And I actually said Jamaica is one of the places I would there love to go Maybe. to. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe Carolyn can give us some uh, tips. I've been to Jamaica. I went to Montego Bay. So I know there's Aww. like quite, it's quite a, it's a fairly yeah, yeah, big country, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. It was amazing, Aww. Debbie. There's a lot of rum punch involved. Uh, <laughs> I just want to do like dance on the beach in Jamaica. They have these things there called Duns River Falls and they're huge, huge waterfalls. Not like a waterfall, like a sheer drop waterfall, yeah. like a cascading waterfall that goes oh, wow. up the cliff. And you actually walk up it. 
Oh. So you actually like trek up the waterfall oh, and the water's coming against that you. Sounds but you'll amazing. go up or down. I think you go up it and then you come back down it again. It's incredible. Oh Should my go. god. Oh, yeah, but yes. hello to Carolyn in Kingston, Jamaica. Oh, I love that. Oh, hi Carolyn. Yeah, that's really lovely. Uh, right, the other thing that you need to do when you're using these is you want to check where your die is going, where your stamp is positioned on your die. So you've got two dies here, so I know that this little owl with his little heart is on the bottom here. So just be mindful where you're placing it, because it doesn't matter what size card it is, as long as when you place it, you can fit that whole die on. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit there, and we're going to pop that to the top. So again, just use a little bit of low-tack tape. Alison says, I love these cards, Joe. People often ask me why we make them, and I say the reasons are threefold. <laughs> Johnny's just gone, oh. Even Johnny went, oh. <laughs> Charlotte's not watching. Charlotte's not watching the show, and I can hear her eye rolling from here. She's at home. She's in, she's in Boston Spa or somewhere, I can hear her rolling from, her eyes rolling from here. Oh. Terrible, terrible dad jokes. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, we've just sent that through and then we're going to position the next one. So always do one after the other. So we've got our first one done there, so that creates this one. Now this one I want cut, or this one should I say that's in my hand, I want cut on the inside. So this is a really easy bit. All you have to do is position this die uh, onto your front. So again, use your die so I know that this piece here, this owl, is going to position onto that corner. So can you see it goes sort of rounded. So our owl's going to sit on that branch. So it will sit just, oh sorry, I want it the other way around. Just realise it goes that way around. That's his ear. There we go. So this owl will sit onto this side here. Okay. So I want to position that in my window just underneath. So you can see exactly where you're putting it. So I'm going to bring that over a little bit more and then use that. We can use, I'll oh, get another piece of tape. Just take a little piece off there and stick that onto your inside. And then we can do exactly the same, send that one through. And you can see how I'm doing this card still allows me to use the Gemini Junior. I'm just having the end of my card where the, um, where the fold is along the bottom. That way I don't get any sort of dents in my actual card. And then send that through. So there's always ways normally that if you can't use, um, if you don't have a Gemini, uh, if you don't have a bigger Gemini that you can use your Junior. So as we bring that one in, Let's take that one out. I love the little uh, stitched edge effect that you get in there. So you can see now you've got your sort of tunnel and it's all lined up perfectly well. So now for the stamping. So let's just take our first stamp and we're going to stamp our first one. So we know, oh, that's our second one, but it doesn't matter which way we do it. So this one is just going to fit directly into here. So what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to bring in my stamping platform. So just like so. I can just fold that in half, so I know that's going to go on there. Pop my magnets into place, and then just position that where I need it to go. Now, because I'm using a um, coated cardstock, we're going to use our pigment inks because I know that they will be able to uh, go down onto that coated cardstock. And then we can always, if we wanted to, heat set it with embossing powder. So I'm just using black pigment tapping that into place and then we can stamp that directly onto the top. Karen, did you speak to uh, Dunn and Rivers Hall? And it is great to confirm. Right, so we're going to go there. So we're here about um, uh, those falls in a minute. Joe's just having his mic sorted out. So we're just going to tap that back down onto there just to give that another tap down then what we're going to do is just turn that round and do our other one so let's pop that round just pop that onto here and then let's just switch out our other one and then we're going to pop this onto this side so we've got that beautiful little heart and then push that one down just like so and then we can ink that one up 
So nice and easy, um, but what I would recommend with these, Joe, is to uh, do them in stages, um, and then that way you'll get perfect results every single time. So just popping that one into place. Oh, again, we could do with another inking of that because we're asking this ink to go on to uh, coated cardstock, which is uh, a shiny cardstock. So I'm just going to do that a couple of times so we get that perfect um, stamp. And then we're going to just show you how that looks all together. Oh, look at that, it's so cute. Right, let's turn that round and then you can see how easy it is to put them together with those trifold cars. So one on the inside and one on the outside. Right, so while we're just getting sorted in the studio, we're going to just go to a quick break, uh, break with uh, Club Inspire. Here it is. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Quick Buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafter's Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafter's TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You did it was better you than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. What was that? Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. 
you entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crappus Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Oh dear, Debbie's trying her hand at another owl. LOL, says Wonder Crowley. <laughs> Yeah, it was a spowl, wasn't it, that Debbie... Have we got the spowl still? Is it, does it live... Is it living on? It's is living it alive on and well? in Nigel May's house. It's so, at so Nigel May's he house? He has it, yes. Oh. Yeah, he if said he's he couldn't got the spowl, then can I have the... Can I have the <laughs> seal? <laughs> the wax seal. Can I? Do we know where it is? I don't know where it is. I don't know where I it is. I think I'd like to. I'd like that as a keepsake, maybe, <laughs> for me. I could always make you another one. <laughs> oh, no, let's not do that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, let's move on. Let's share with you this then. Again, I can't believe this. This is like, obviously is a crafting product without a shadow of a doubt, but it almost goes beyond that, doesn't it? It turns you're looking at things like model making, really. I mean, if you had a. If you, you know, uh, a child or a grandchild had like a model railway, Debbie, imagine building all your own buildings for a model railway using these. I think it would be absolutely fabulous uh, in order for you to do that. You can see even things like churches here. You can put them together, you can use them individually, and they are a brilliant price. I mean, there's no getting away from them. About £130 or $150 when we first launched these for you. They were very popular at the higher price. However, today, because this is Craft Vault, you have got a sensational price on them. Uh, we've taken £105 almost, over $121 off of the price. And you know the other great thing, Debbie, sometimes when we're offering you, you know, snap them up deals, we're saying to you, you know, we've only got a couple of that collection left, so you can have it at a great price. This is the whole collection of this. This is the exact collection that we launched. So you'll get the village church, and each of these, what you get is you get the dies, and then you get the stencil. Uh, which in all enables you to put the outline together. So that's your village church. You've then also got your manor house, which is that one there. You've got the cosy cottage, and again, the stencil to go alongside that. This one here is the townhouse, and that also has a stencil with it. And last but by no means least, that one there is thatched cottage, and that has got the thatched cottage template to go with it. £20 or $24 is your price on those. Right, up next, we're going to look at the We Can Super Saver. It is this uh, right here, which is a brilliant selection, really, because what you're getting in here is you are getting your premium uh, black paper pad, of course, from Spectrum Noir, 30 pages there, 240 GSM, it's a 9 by 12. Then you've got the Midas Metallic Ink Pad. So think of these um, a lot like our opaque pigment impact. They've got that added sparkle, sheen and shine in there. You're going to get this in the rose gold, the bronze. You're also getting the gold and the blush. And they work beautifully on black cardstock. They do all work, of course, on uh, lighter cardstocks, vellums and all those different things. But they do work beautifully on darker materials. That's a brilliant price for all of that. You're saving over 25% uh, when you get it in this configuration, which is awesome. Uh, so make sure you are stamping uh, stamping that up. You will be stamping it up if you're snapping it up. That's what I was going to say. Uh, so do grab hold of that. Don't forget, apparently every tier is a waterfall. Uh, and these are the shaped waterfall stamp and die collections. Four different designs in here. We're not going to ask you to pay. Uh, well, as a platinum, we're not going to ask you to pay for one because they are £24.99 each. Uh, if you are in the UK, however, 29.50 gets you all four, which is rather amazing. Uh, you have got 70 pounds or amazing. That's a new one for you. It's 75 dollars. Rather amazing. Uh, anyway, snap those up. I am waffling. Let's see what you're saying in the comments. Uh, Dabby, uh, <laughs> Debbie, <laughs> this magnetic stamping platform is a great tool. Uh, so glad I bought one. I removed one of the purple spring feet on the side, so I use long card and I don't get a dimple from the card pre the uh, pressure. It's ah, a great, love that. It's a great idea. Great I like idea, that idea yeah. a lot. Um, Stephanie uh, says, uh, I forget what demo it was you were doing here, talking about getting things back si backside down, upside front. <laughs> I want to come out upside <laughs> down. Backside front. Backside. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I say it? Back inside out. Back, back to back front, to upside front. down. 
<laughs> backside back down, down, inside up. Put your backside down, And Jay. inside up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could have been very, that could have gone, that could have gone the other way, couldn't it, that? Yeah. Could have been oh, bad. Be uh, she does this morning, Prince Joe. If I do not catch you tomorrow, happy birthday to you and also to my hubby. Ah, oh, Shadia. Oh, thank Joe. you so much. Did I forget it was your birthday? Yes, tomorrow. Oh my God, I didn't realise that. I am so sorry. <laughs> thank you, Shadia. Do you know what? <laughs> I, I haven't really. Um, twenty six. I'm having both. I've got tomorrow and the next day. Oh. Uh, so because I'm not celebrating it until like the second weekend in October. I've actually kind of forgotten myself that it's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> so what's the official one tomorrow? Tomorrow's the official birthday right. and then Tuesday's an unofficial birthday. Right, yes. Yeah. Mm. There you are. And what uh, are you doing for your birthday? I'll be here at Crafters TV. Hey. All day for both birthdays. Ah, yes. I mean, uh, myself and Michelle nice. tomorrow and then is it Michelle and Debbie Robinson on Tuesday? It is indeed. Very it's going to be fun. Nice. Uh, Bubble and Squid would like to know what a spowl is. I'll leave that to you, Debbie. Um, it's an owl that turned into a spider. You know when like they did a... like tigers and lions and they crossed them over to make yes. a liger? Yeah. It's kind of like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so it's sort of our Fiona that used to work with us called it a spow because it looked like a spider owl. Yeah, and it was a spider drawing owl, that I'd done. Spider owl. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a drawing. It was a drawing that I did on a uh, spool of wood. We did find um, a picture of it, didn't we? Yeah. Well, it's in the drive. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. Uh, I have it. I do have it on my. I probably have it on my phone. Would you like me to show you? I only because Nigel sends me it every so often. Oh, just randomly. So, well, it's 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 with Nigel as well. Are we allowed to show that? Yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, so, um, let's have a look. Yeah. So. Oh, we've got it. Oh. Oh, the so spells broke the system. This. We're, this was. This we're was, up up the spell without a creak or something like that. Oh, we can't do it. Well, you can show it. We can't show it. Oh. So, so, can we, can we do it? Can we, can we do it? <laughs> oh, no, we're having oh, no. <laughs> oh. Right, so we might show you later on that one anyway, so, uh, which is fine. <laughs> So, what I am... So <laughs> you just keep going, Debbie. Off In the fact, spowl. I'm going to get a bit of a sit down, Debbie. I'll come <laughs> over there. I'll come over to you. Come over to me, Jo. Uh, because I do want to show you something, actually. I want to show you those pop-out dies. Oh, lovely. Um, so, yeah, this, again, this is great because it tells you how to do your pop-out. Tells you what card to do, what sign to have, and it's absolutely fine. Now, we haven't got overhead, so I will show you as I do it. You broke uh, the spouse, broke the system, I, you know the that. The spouse broke the system, I'm not surprised. So basically, any piece of card that folds in half, I haven't scored it all the way through. I've only scored it a little bit of the side and on the other side. So can the camera not even come to you then, Joe? Well, I'm here with you. Like the old days, my it's camera. It's just stuck on me. <laughs> if there's anything you need to close up, give it to me and I'll run it over. Oh, Hold what, it up my, for you. my spell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we will put this one through first and Basically, show this. You pop one. that in there and grab your spell. Yes. I'll catch that for you. I know it doesn't need catching, but I just like to feel like I'm there. having a positive would, impact would you like on to show the show. My picture? Uh, oh, yeah, I will. The picture makes it quite scary, actually. <laughs> That's the spow in, in Nigel's eye there. Uh, oh, wait, you can see it. Is it a spider? Is it an owl? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it's the legs, isn't it? I thought it had eyelashes, is what I thought. I thought it had eyelashes. Yeah, so um, so Nigel has it. Yeah, it's quite it's quite funny. Uh, right. So what's great about this? Now, before I do anything with it, I will just show you. You'll be able to see it if I pop a piece of white card there. So it actually cuts now um, your best wishes right in there. And then all we're going to do is we're going to fold these. Um, so you're just going to pop them into place because all those score lines are there. So it's just okay. Some people use a pokey tool, Joe. Um, other people. Um, um, just use their fingers like me and we're just going to um, bend these into place just like so i um i actually did make one of these believe it or not did you yeah and i use a pokey back of the i use a pokey, pokey tool, tool to bend it around yeah, yeah absolutely and I found that was the it's, I guess it you is just, quite good whatever you find easiest terry tom says joe it's my friend from germany's birthday 
Could you, could you wish my schmetterling friend Julia a happy birthday? Oh, Julia, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Where's the packet? Must say on the, let's find, you got the packaging for those dice? These ones, Where are this they? one. That one there. There must be a happy birthday in there. Uh, Where's there the others? Is, there's a happy birthday board. Where's the board gone? No, yeah. I need the, I need the packet, I need the You can open product. that up. Open that up. No, but I need to know that it's in German. So I can say happy birthday. Oh, happy sorry, birthday. I see what you mean. Oh, um, I don't know where it is, Joe. Is it in this one? Yeah, there you go, in that one. I'll just carry on. You just carry on. Don't you worry about me. So we need to say, Alles Gute zum Guf... Gu oh, it's quite a hard one. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag to Julia in Germany. There we go. Alles Gute Berg. Alles... <laughs> nearly. was me and Debbie butchering the German language there at the end of that uh, last show. I don't know, I have a few gremlins, a few spells in the system, Debbie. I think we'll go back to Debbie. She's still over there with her uh, pop-out card, if you missed it. <laughs> so, like, right, so I was in the middle of my folding, which I've done, so I will just recap exactly what I did. Now, you don't have to have any particular shape of card to be able to do this. Um, any card that just folds in half, so if I put it this way, so I'll lay that back fr fr uh, down. Uh, as long as you've got one that folds in half and it folds over, it can be any shape of card you want. Uh, my one I've just done four inches by eight inches. Uh, and then all I've done is scored just a little bit at the side. You don't want to score all the way through because otherwise you get score lines in your letters, which you don't want. Um, and then all I've done is literally, can you see these little, uh, what we did call little kissy lips at the side? You put your score line between those two pieces. So let's pop that the right way. So that slots back in. So they will go on your score lines on each side. Die cut it out. And then just using your fingers, you just literally, all your lines are put in there for you until it all folds flat. And that will all fold completely flat. And then I've just created a little card blank, exactly the same size that we can just pop on the inside. And actually, it's made it a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to trim that down and stick that to the inside of our card. So let me bring in my uh, guillotine. Just give this a trim on the sides here. Pop that underneath. And that way that will give us a little bit of a border on each side as well. Yes, so, and then that one as well. So then when we come to putting that on the inside, just make sure I've got that the right way. We can then just fold that onto that score line. I'm going to use my um, uh, tape pen. Have we got them in stock yet, Joe? Do we know? Oh, I think we had the extra strong tape pens in stock, didn't we? Oh, we did. I don't we know that we've got they the dotty ones still out of stock. Dotty, dotty are still out. Oh, at least we've got something in. That's good. So I'm just going to hover that over that score line, just so I know that that will go into place. Bring that one down. And then all we're going to do is open that up do it on the opposite side and like i say it really is just about having your card so it folds in the center but not until you're ready to do your die cutting and then if we turn that round to the front camera let's get that the right way we can then open that up and you've got your best wishes inside and then you could cut that again and layer them with different colours. So there's lots of different things that you can do with them, Joe. But I love that. They're super easy to do. And the dimension that you get in them is amazing. And there right. we go. <coughs> £19 today. They are brilliant, brilliant value. Terry Tom says, thanks, Joe and Debbie. That will make her day. Oh, you're more than welcome, uh, Terry Tom. Uh, Shadia says, Prince Joe Nigel has Debbie's spell and he loves it. 
<laughs> uh, Spider Owl, the new Marvel character, says Alistair <laughs> Vile. <laughs> um, Sandra says it's quite artistic, really, the spell. Thank you very much. Yeah. I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. It was one of those things, once you started, you couldn't make it right because you couldn't... It started off even looking like Yoda. <laughs> Yoga? Yoda. Oh! Yoda Yoga. Star Wars. Yeah, and then it sort of, yeah, just didn't get any better. And by the time I put the bits in at the side, and it's a shame because I need the, the, the finished one to really show how it would look when it's all painted and finished. It's just one of those things, when you put those stripes in, um, it then looked like a spider. <laughs> or an owl with very long lashes. <laughs> uh, I want to uh, remind you of these. These are doing really well. Very busy in this show. Lots of you loving these. Easy to see why. When you've got £35 and $45 off of these. Love you. Is that one there? Remember, these are an edgeable. So the brilliant thing is you can just pop them into your card like an edgeable there. Uh, this one here is your topper as well. Uh, this one here, this is happy birthday. You're going to get that in. I love that you've got a little butterfly on. Is that a butterfly or is that a ribbon? It's a butterfly, isn't it? You could turn it into a ribbon, though, I reckon. Yeah, no reason why not. You've then got thank you in here. You also have special day, which is that one just there. And you will also receive hello to you, which is that one just there. Let me show you some of the things that have been done with this. Some, some really beautiful finished projects that the design team have done with these. These are brilliant because they will fit into, I would say, that font will go and fit into pretty much any collection uh, that you have, whether it's a Sarah Signature collection or uh, a Nature's Garden collection. It is completely up to you. You've got that one just there. Uh, you then also have this one, which is gorgeous, that shaker card uh, with Love You on there. But then again, another very simple one. Great way to use your pattern papers and incorporate those. Maybe do your own stampy backgrounds and bring them in there. Uh, and also on your different concept cards, they're gonna work really well there. That one there, it's just a Z fold, but it's got lots of banners there, uh, which is awesome. And then this one here, really, really beautiful. This one uh, is a uh, thank you card that's been done with some butterflies. I think that's stunning, that one, really, really stunning. Uh, you get all of them in that collection for $14.50 or $19, which is brilliant value. Uh, Linda Vasquez says, oh, I love these pop-out dice so much. I have all the words. If anyone doesn't have these yet, that is a fantastic price. That's about the pop-outs that you just saw Debbie demonstrating with there a moment ago. We're going back to Debbie again because she's going to take us through, I believe, some of the Aperture stamps. Is that right, Debbie? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I thought we might do a couple of different things with these. So the first thing, the, thing, the first one I want to bring in is I've stolen um, out of the pad over there, Joe, some of that black cardstock. This nice. is amazing cardstock. This is out of the pad. I'm also going to use um, the uh, Midas ink pad that comes with it as well, one of them. This is the bronze one uh, because it's a great one to stamp into. Now, if anyone doesn't know, our Midas ink pads are pigment based. It means that everything that you can do with our, uh, our opaque pigment ink pads, you can do with these ones, which means they're heat embossed embossing involved as well so I love that so let's use the um, uh, terranium and uh, give this one a stamp to start with so all I'm going to do is grab my stamping platform I'm going to pop that black cardstock this is lovely the cardstock in here it's very nice um, and then we'll just pop our magnets onto there and then the, let's first of all stamp out our main uh, a main stamp so I love this one though because you get lots of little uh, foliage with this as well and then let's just stamp that into the center and give that a stamp out in fact I'm going to do that a little bit straight and do it to the bottom won't need to trim off too much then uh, just like so so pop that like that and then pick that up Sticking all to there, I'm going to pop that down a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure that's stuck on there nicely. And then we're going to use that beautiful, I love these. These are gorgeous ink pads. Um, they're nice and juicy. They have loads of that beautiful pigment ink pad. Um, and they're just going to work really well with this stamp. And what I love about heat embossing as well, and using pigment ink pads, is the fact that you can just leave them like this on your, uh, your card, or you can colour them in. Now, because I'm using black cardstock, I don't want to colour it in. I just want that beautiful design with the pigment ink. 
So just going down, stamp in onto here. And then what I also want to do is stamp that again. So even though that was got a little bit missing, I want to put another piece down on there just to make it even brighter. I want to make sure we've got that fully covered. I always like to turn and rotate my or rotate my um, my stamp because you have different amounts of pressure. Pop that down again, and then I'm just going to go round this part, which I know missed before, and then back onto all that other section. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. And then before we do anything else, we're going to take one of our sentiments. So let's do the aloe you because I think that's a great sentiment. Pop that in the middle. And actually, what we do have, Joe, we have the um, other colours. So I've got a, let's use a different colour for the middle. A bit of a lighter colour, but this one is our um, rose colour. Let's just pop that into place and then pick that one up and because my um, inks will stay wetter for longer I don't have to worry about that drying so let's just tap that down onto there not really touch that E and then just make sure that gets a nice coating down there we go that's done lovely that one I'm not going to do another one and then let's use, let me grab a scrap piece of card and also our embossing powder. Let's pop that to the side. And then we're just going to sprinkle this. It's what I love about using clear embossing powder because it means that you can use any of your pigment based stamps um, and you've got different colours of your heat embossing. So let's pop that one back in. Like so. And then we will do our heat embossing. So just using a heat tool, we're just going to go around now and just melt the powder till that starts to turn. So it looks wonderful uh, in the metallic ink on yeah, the black card. It does. If you want the metallic ink pads and the black card, look, don't forget that is this week's weekend super saver. I'll take you back through that uh, in just a couple of minutes. It's a brilliant deal though, but remember, only runs up until the end of today. So you'll need to be quick if you want to snap that up and get your hands on it. Yeah, it's such a good deal, isn't it, Joe, as well? Especially when you can get this type of effect from it. So if you go for these stamp sets, you could be creating so many different designs. So I'm just doing that middle section. And then I want to sort of hover that over because I'm going to try and attempt to sort of do a, a triple emboss. It's quite a big stamp to be able to do that with. But it's, um, it's a really cool way to be able to get a really shiny topper. And because it's a big stamp, and this is what I mean, is it's only picked up some of that embossing. But I'm not too worried because I think any extra will just look beautiful. So let's just go round and do that bit as well. And all this does is it makes it even more super shiny and just gives it a really nice glazed look. So bringing that round and onto that midsection. And let's just keep that going so we're keeping it heated up and then just chuck that down on top. Chuck it on there. <laughs> I don't I don't take it the Careful, so I take the right heat away. <laughs> I don't take the heat away um, because I want it to uh, I want to be able to uh, have that that still heated up and then I just take the angle the tool away and then that way it just gives you this uh, amazing effect. And it doesn't take long to dry, but when you're putting more layers on, just try to remember uh, to let that sort of dry first. Um, not dry, cool down, cool down first, because it will make it quite hot. When you, the more layers you put on, the longer it sort of takes to dry. Um, so let me just pop my lid on, and then we'll show you that effect. So using those two different colours and getting that beautiful effect there uh, on, on the stamp. Look at that. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Really cool. Yeah, really, really absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then we've got another one, Joe. So actually, I thought while we're here and showing these stamps, uh, let's just uh, stamp this one out. And, and only because it's my favourite. I love this stamp. 
um, I think it's a great one to have and I just want you to see how just using your normal stamps let me just grab a wipe to to clear that off um, it's a great way of just being able to uh, use your different mediums to color with so I'm just going to take that one off and let's pop this one into place now, so for this one, if we're going to use, say, our alcohol colouring, then we want to use our Nina cardstock. So I'm just going to grab myself a piece of that as well. And then we can use that to stamp onto. So I'm just going to fold that piece in half. And then pop that directly onto here. Uh, there it is. So pop that into place. What I love about this stamp, it has so many different elements. So if you want to sort of add all your little balloons, your clouds, you've got loads of all these different ones in here as well, including your sentiment. So let's just pick that one up. And then we will stamp that one out. Isn't it nice that we're, we're so lucky that we have all these different designs mm. um, and different mediums that we can use? So it doesn't matter what you like, you'll find some. there's something for everybody when stamping. So if you do love your watercolours and you like to watercolour or create backgrounds, you can absolutely do that. Just that little bit on the top there, so just pop that back down. Just go back in where I've missed that and that will just do that perfectly well. Oh, still a little bit there, look, I'm being really fussy. But Aren't let's your just, uh, water reactives, Debbie? Yep. Can you pull them out with a paint, like a wet brush? If you use water reactive ink pads? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You can. Would you like me to show you? I'd love to, I don't think I've... So I know we talk about spritzing it a lot. And, you know, I haven't, that sort of um, out. so let me just grab a couple of colours. Um, I haven't got... Um, uh, I haven't stamped it onto watercolour okay. paper and I also haven't used, uh, I've used alcohol ink. So, but what you could do, Joe, and I'm going to just bring in, I'm hoping I've got one here to show you. There we go. Uh, instead of using water, I'm just going to bring in our sparkle pen. Okay. So it's still water-based, so same sort of thing, but what it will do, it won't give me as much liquid as what a water brush would do. And then all we're going to do is pop this to the... Um, to our, ink, uh, to our surface, our um, non-porous surface, uh, and we can just pick that up and we can paint directly onto here. Oh, now, because, um, because it is like a liquid, I'm being very gentle round the, um, uh, round the actual ink because it, it could, but it does look really good. It's a lovely way of being able to paint with uh, and using your ink pads as well. Yeah, so that's a great question. And it's and also, you can get some real uh, contrast in your colours so we can make it lighter and uh, darker in places as well. So really nice way to use it. And get a bit of sparkle at the same time if you Who use sparkle. Who doesn't love a bit of bling, Debbie? I do love a bit of bling. Yeah, you do as well, Joe. I do indeed. We... Um, we uh, did the sparkle pens in this morning's show, so they are on the shop the day. Perfect. Um, so you will be able to find those as well. And then if I wanted to then go in and put a little bit of extra, so say like with our red, let's make it a little bit more ready. Let's put a little bit of red on there. We can then start blending that in as well. So I can put some red around the top. And here, just to give it that darkness. Yeah, I love the way, it's something I don't do uh, as much as I would love to, but actually I love mixing the colours of our ink pads. So you can do that contrast in darkness at the top there, can you see? It's a really cool way to be able to, uh, to paint on them, which is amazing. Um, I love these stamps. I think they're, I'm surprised we've still got them, if I'm honest. They are very, very busy, Debbie. Oh, single figures on these, actually. You will need to get a wiggle on. Limited stock on these. £23, 26 50 Gets you 66 stamps. Click of the... Click, is that click? click is it, what's the click, thing click, I call for 66? <laughs> click of the... Clickety click, 66. Is that what it is? Uh, I don't know. Tracy, what's the thing I call for 66? She doesn't know. I, I don't Tracy know either. Know. All the sixes. All 66. the sixes. 66. I surely there's another one in there. Right. 
No, that's it. That's all we've got. Sorry. There we go. I won't do no more to that, but you Beautiful. can see it's uh, really cool. And then you've got your sentiments to add in side, so you can put uh, the sky is the limit inside there, uh, and just beautiful designs. So absolutely love that. So it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're heat embossing uh, or you're just stamping, it's ideal to use. I love these stamps, Joe. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And something else you might want to use in conjunction with them is, of course, this weekend, Weekend Super Saver, which is this one over here. Brilliant, brilliant quality. Uh, Spectrum uh, pad that you are getting there with those. Uh, and as you'll see, 30 sheets of that 9x12, 240 GSM, which is excellent. And then four of our Midas metallic ink pads in here too. It saves you over 25% this. You will get the rose gold, the bronze, the gold, and the blush. So really lovely uh, metallic tones in there, which is excellent. They are brilliant stamped up onto dark cardstock. You can use them on lighter cardstock too, of course, uh, if you wish. But that's a really little but great bundle if you've not tried those Midas metallic ink pads previously. So don't miss out on those ones right there. Mary Pat says, gorgeous. Uh, Mary Rhino says, really beautiful as well. Mary Rhino says, I just love this terrarium set. It looks wonderful in the metallic ink on the black cardstock as well. Uh, the dimensional deal that we've got for you, you are loving this and it is not a surprise. Let me share with you exactly what you are getting in here then. Uh, because you are getting just sort of a couple of bits of uh, different collections within here. You're going to get firstly, the favour boxes, which I love. These are so cool. This is how they come to you. Very easy to put together. You've got full instructions on these over on the website. So you've got the Happy Heart, which is that one there. And you'll also receive the ornate favour box. And now that is what these make for you. And you can play around with the decoration. You don't have to put the decoration in the panels. There is a lot of ability to customise these, should you so wish. Or you can just leave them quite plain and they're beautiful as they are. So you're getting those included. But then, wait till you see this next bit. You are also getting these two different designs here. They're like, they're like a cross between a clock and a snow globe. That's how I like to think of these. You've got that with a round size there. Any of, a lot of you will have small dies that will be sort of uh, appropriately sized to go in here, I reckon, as well. And you get the love heart in there as well, which is also absolutely stunning. So that's that one there. Let me share this. Someone's really gone to town with this one here, with the colours. But again, very easy to put together. These much more simple to put together than you would first imagine, I think. Uh, and again, you can see they stand beautifully. Definitely going to be something that people are going to keep out for a really long time uh, on the mantelpiece. I'll show you what you're getting included there then. So you've got the base shape in both. So you've got the heart there, and then you get all the little embellishing dies that go alongside it. And of course, you will get the butterfly too, as well as the favour boxes. These, £15 on their own, each one of those. So you can see what a stonking great deal uh, you've got for all four elements uh, there. Rhonda saying they love, love, love Spectrum Nile Metallic Ink Pads. Use them all of the time. Yeah, they're absolutely brilliant, Rhonda, uh, aren't they? £19, $23 if you want to to um, snap those up. Don't delay. Uh, very, very busy across everything that you've seen today uh, in this craft vault. We are going next back to something I love to create, Debbie. A scene. <laughs> Not you. You no. don't create a scene. No. <laughs> uh, go go camping is our first one uh, i love these so many different occasions that you can use them for there's lots of different sentiments on here these are exceptionally priced today 19 pounds for all of these sets which is incredible uh, you just have to choose which one you want to use first because they are amazing i love this one i think it's a great one to um to just uh, send to your friends you know soak up the fun uh, birthday bubbles it's a great really fun one to have i love the fact that you can stamp all your little bubbles around the outside and create just amazing scenery uh, you've got our home i love this one great little one to use really good oh. if you know someone <laughs> not a spowl <laughs> uh, but a great one for um, anyone that's moving home or then you know going on to pastures new i think it's a, a great one to have then you've got your party vibes so you've got that great champagne bottle the party hats um, again it's time to party let's celebrate so really usable sentiments on there 
there as well. Um, I would recommend when you've got stamp sets like this to write all your little sentiments down that you have in a little book so you know where to find them because sometimes we forget that we've got all these different sentiments that we can use. I love these ones, they're your birthday ones, they're the happy birthday to you. Um, really gorgeous stamp sets as well as the actual dies themselves and also all the little embellishment dies that you get with them. Each one comes with additional little embellishment dies. Uh, this one you've got those flowers, you've got the foliage, you've got your butterfly, um, so that's your secret garden. Um, just really nice designs and if I show you some of the um, what the design team have done uh, you can just see how much fun these are to do and how beautiful they look. I love using them on the front of a card but then having that pop out element on the inside as well and if you need somewhere to write or put your message you just pop that on the back of the card. So beautiful designs from the design team. This is a great one, this is like a trifold card uh, that just comes completely out and then it's got that sort of dangly hat in between the candles. Um, it's such a fun card that Love one. A dangler. And so simple to do. I mean we don't want to take anything away from the design team. Uh, this one is done by Lisa West so she's done a, a cracking job here. Um, another one here is just using some of the embellishments on the front but then opening it out and you've got that sort of spinny bottle on the inside there which I think is a really great idea. It's just being imaginative isn't it with the dies and what you can do with them. Uh, this one here with the I know that's the butterfly one. Oh, it's not the butterfly one. I thought it was the butterfly with the little flowers. But these little flowers, they're actually in that. But this one is the uh, country cottage one. Uh, so really pretty designs. And I love the fact that you can use all the papers that you've got in your stash. Um, anything, any of uh, just plain ones as well. You can use your colouring medium. So that one's been coloured in. So a great one to have. I like the sentiment in that one. That's a great one, isn't it? Um, but so life doesn't escape you so what's on the should have read that the other way around Tra <laughs> travel not to escape life um but to but for but so life doesn't escape you have you thought of a career as a motivational speaker i'm just th <laughs> just thinking out loud here i think i don't, know, could, I, it could be don't know why i was even trying that just a couple more and also i'm just gonna just gonna show you these ones i'm just gonna whip through these now i'm just gonna try not to do sentiments in future um just ones that you don't have to use on your inside yeah just stop reading and actually i'm quite a good reader but um obviously not today um and just using them on the fronts of your cards as well you don't have to use them on the outside yeah craig had a job this morning with uh, do with numbers his bits, wasn't he so yeah he couldn't do his numbers this morning he was getting a bit tongue-tied so i think it's just it's a sunday tongue-tied day it is <laughs> it really really is but, but grab these while we've still got them because they're exceptional price today uh, yeah. but don't get yourself in a twist and make sure you get those <laughs> new basket and get yourself checked out because you will miss out on that amazing uh, amazing price that you've got there tracy's just bought me a couple of them. thanks tracy you're the uh -huh. best uh <laughs> Let me share with you uh, what you've got in this little collection here. Because we've got three of our amazing layering dies here. We call them layering dies. I mean, you can layer them up on each other. They're just brilliant to add a bit of interest on the background. Of your card. You know, sometimes you do a card and pop it, pop it together and you just think to yourself... <laughs> Are you starting now, Jay? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, pop it together was what I was trying to say. Not poop it together. That was not what I meant to say. Pop it together and you know like you're doing the composition and it's just missing something, Debbie. It's just something that's just not right that isn't there. Something like this in the very back layer of your card really lifts it sometimes. And you can add colour to these and do as you please with them. So you've got three designs here, entwining vines, peacock feathers, and you've also then got the perfect peonies in there. Now as a little Brucey bonus as well, you are going to get one of our pop-outs included. And this one here is the presents that you've got, perfect as we move into the festive period or for things like birthdays. You can see gorgeous uh, little pop-out detailing there on that. Uh, from me to you is what that one is called. Uh, £17 or $20 gets you all these. Let me share with you some of the panels and what they are going to do for you uh, on your cars. Look at that, that's beautiful. If you're doing it as a, a focal point, then it's going to work really well. Or you can use it as background, it's completely up to you. This one here is your vines, as you can see there. The peacock, so now these would work brilliant with the peacock collection, obviously, or even something like a chinoiserie collection, uh, that would be amazing. This one here as well, uh, again, using those peacocks. I love this one. Who's created this one? It was uh, Nicole Preston uh, has created that one. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? The colour work on the panel there is exquisite. 
And then you've also got this one here. Now, that is, again, beautiful. Really lovely uh, designs there on the feathers. That one there with the vines. Again, another one from Nicole is beautiful. And I think it really shows you there. The vines there, they are the same dye, but they look so different, don't they? Colouring it up a little more dark, putting it onto a Z-fold concept. There's absolutely loads you're going to be able to do with these, which is brilliant. It's 17 pounds or $20. That's saving you almost 40 pounds or $48, which is brilliant, brilliant value. That's what you're looking at. And that's what you're always looking at uh, when we bring you these amazing uh, Craft Vault shows. They are some of the best prices you're gonna see all week here on Crafters TV. So make sure you're snapping them up and taking advantage of them. Uh, we're gonna go back to Debbie. She has got, I believe it's a trifold you're gonna go back to. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Uh, again, another one you're absolutely loving. Uh, beautiful designs here. So we're looking at our birthday bunny. Um, again, the trifold element is in that tri tri trio of card stock there, um, folded over to make that trifold card. Um, and having those apertures that you can uh, die cut into them, start with your biggest layer on the front, then your second layer, then do your stamping. You're getting all that stamp sets with those, those two dies with each. Um, the best buddy one is a great one to have you can literally do your dog whatever color you want to uh, lots of really fun um, sort of tongue-in-cheek um, phrases on there as well you've then got you mean so much with the uh, little elephant uh, I love them Joe because there's always someone that likes a different type of um, animal um, you know there's people that love owls people like elephants there's, there's always something for somebody with ones like this so uh, so Johnny's saying who's Gemma likes sloths my daughter likes sloths oh, as well yeah, she's maybe that's why she married Johnny <laughs> <laughs> He's built for comfort, not for speed, oh Johnny. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of knows his own down, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, but these are great to have, so being able to uh, to take those stamps uh, and be really creative in the centre then of the uh, the apertures. Um, use your pattern papers. You haven't got to just do your stamps because it all works the same. This one's done like in a different style Joe so instead of folding each one in it's just done as that sort of uh, trifold um, as you do sort of with the zigzags um, a z-fold a z-fold yes sorry uh, and creating uh, no it's not a z-fold uh, zigzag so with the dies that we have we have zigzag dies and they go like on a trifold but done in this this way okay. yes um, I suppose is it is similar to a z-fold isn't it actually it looks like a z that way it's not a Z-fold, Joe. It's not a Z-fold card. That's not how I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say whatever. If you say it's not a Z-fold, it's not a Z-fold, Debbie. So, so, I'm not even going to explain. That's fine. So, it's a trifold. It's definitely a Z-fold. It's not a Z-fold. <laughs> oh, I use think I might be trouble in the latest show, you know. Whatever you've got it's in your It's because I drove in this morning. I'm, I'm sort of easing myself in, Debbie. You're normally quieter on your first day, Joe. I thought I was going to have a really nice, quiet day today. I'm <laughs> <laughs> saving it up for you. As if, as if we'd get a nice, quiet day. I think you're easing yourself in because it's your birthday, so you're just really excited. Yeah, so. apparently that means I can do and say what I want tomorrow and not get told off. That's oh, what they said. Oh, I don't know who's told you that, Joe, but... Johnny said it. Oh, Johnny yeah. said it. <laughs> Johnny said, do what you want. <laughs> uh, they don't have to go on a Z-fold or a tri-fold. They can go into uh, an aperture card. Uh, they can go on one that's slightly slanted at the side, so a uh, really great one there. Uh, and just cutting it into one piece of card that's double-sided, so I love that. So if I turn that around the other way, you can see it's just a different pattern from our Knitwicks collection uh, and creating it in a totally different way. Uh, and then we've just cut the butterflies out as a separate um, medium to just pop on the top instead of stamping onto there. So there's lots of different ways you can do with them, Joe. And they're just such a great, fun um, die and stamp to use. Um, and I absolutely love them. Um, as you're doing because the price today £14.50 or $19 that is absolutely incredible for all of this set it's all about the price tag as Jesse J said uh, Adriana says Joe you're always trouble that's why we love you not always trouble am I yeah <laughs> <laughs> which you can see Debbie's face she just looks at me red. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's move on this is fun though Debbie because you never know what you're going to get you know, it's never boring, is it? Never boring. Never boring. No. <laughs> this one here is uh, thankful. Uh, so thankful for you. Uh, then, these of course, those connecting sentences. Congrats, which is up on there. You've also got good luck, which is this one just here. Thanks for everything. 
Now this one here is with love, and you've also got friend there as well. Uh, all of those coming away, 19 pounds or 25 dollars. Let me show you exactly some of the things you can do with these, because there's an absolutely beautiful creation's been done featuring these. Love this one here, that one there, which is, uh, that's an easel card, isn't it, Debbie, that one? No, it's not, Jay. Oh, it isn't it? No. This one's another it's lovely a easel. Side a side easel there. It's not an easel. How is it an easel card? It is winding me up. <laughs> lovely Z-fold card there for you. <laughs> Love that one. That's my favourite. This one, the double, double, uh, double barn door card. You do, you do know you'll have a bad birthday tomorrow. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Oh. I like that, a barn door. I think we should rename that one. It does look like a barn door. Stable Love. door, doesn't it? It does, isn't it? I love that one there. Yeah, that's, that's really, really lovely. Pretty. Really lovely bridge card, that one. Uh, and then... And then <laughs> uh, let's show you one more over here, which is uh, this one here. Gorgeous shaker card. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> £19 or $25 gets you all of those, whatever you want to do uh, with them. I know we're having a bit of a laugh and a giggle, but you have got some amazing, amazing uh, deals today in this craft vault, and that's what you come to expect from craft vault. It's really busy on the website, lots of stuff. We don't have a huge amount of stock of. If there are things in your basket that you do not want to miss out on, uh, then definitely check them out. I'm getting lots of happy birthdays coming in now, because uh, we're talking about a birthday. It is actually tomorrow, uh, but I will save those ones up. I'll write them down, I'll read them out tomorrow. <laughs> you know, just in case I don't get any tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Joe, do you need to do a lesson in card class? I could give a lesson in card, maybe masterclass card concepts with Joe as a masterclass. Mm. That'd be great, don't you, Debbie? No, I think we might be giving people the wrong <laughs> concepts. Oh, it'd be fun. <laughs> Uh, right, Joe. I have the Aperture Stamps. Um, now, there's very few of these left, so grab them while you can. They're £23 today or £26.50. Um, £18.40 of your platinum price, which is incredible. You're getting that really large Aperture Stamp. You're getting the sentiments and the embellishment dies in there. So this one is your Wild Blooms. Then you're getting your Floral Hearts, so a really pretty one. Think of sort of next year coming up with Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, even Easter. Uh, really pretty design, that one. Uh, again with all the uh, different sentiments the embellishment dies and that main aperture uh, you're then getting your birds and branches um, I love those birds on the top there it looks like they're being quite mischievous they just don't know they're just gonna land there oh, I've just noticed the one at the bottom here I never even noticed that one there um, but yeah beautiful design that one uh, then the terrarium I think that is um, one that so many people love um, and time and time again tell me how nice it is to color so I really great one uh, that was the one we stamped out earlier the balloons in flight I love all the little embellishment balloons that you get on there there's so many different projects that you can make with that um, and a great one to have and then you've got your butterfly one so the ornate butterflies which are absolutely stunning so these do create beautiful proper shaker cards um, and have gorgeous aperture designs in them uh, you could just color them in use them onto your background paper which are really lovely uh, just looking at different designs there um, that beautiful birds and branches one is such a lovely one something you could use on so that many that one's a woodpecker so got, according a woodpecker, to johnny a woodpecker, woodpecker. Uh, what's this one johnny does it no that one is uh, on the on the left yeah this one sorry this one here is that a is that a blue tip? Let's have a look on there. That's a yellow tip, isn't it? So I think it just depends how you colour it in. I didn't know what it was, I was just asking you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, there's all sorts of tips, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> That was genuine till it come out. <laughs> but there's a great tit, there's blue tits, yellow tits. There is also. Are they all the same sort of size normally? <laughs> <laughs> or are there some bigger than others? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Debbie. <laughs> oh dear. That's it, move on to the next I'm one, just, move on. Yeah, I'm just showing you the samples. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> there are. I've Have you I've Googled this, Johnny? Maybe not on it. the work computer. Oh, no. no, not on the work computer, no. But yeah, get your phone. <laughs> but there are. I'm going to actually not Google my... Well, I am going to Google it. I think... I think if you put in the right words in... How would you word it? I would word it that how many varieties of birds are tits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. In the UK, there are, there are 60 different types of tits when it comes to birds, apparently. <laughs> See, I thought there was six, more. not sixty. Oh, sorry. Oh. I mean, I'm not your man to ask, really. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not into, I'm not into watching birds. A cold, oh, I can't run the. I can't. Go, should we? No. Yeah. Oh, a coal, a coal tip. Coal, crested, tip, crested, yeah, great, tip, great marsh, marsh tip, yep, yeah. willow tip. Oh, willow tip. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> and what was the last one? <laughs> and a blue tip. There oh, you yeah, are. I, I feel like what a tip. great way to end the show. Yeah. That was, what a great way to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We haven't done a card, have we? No, we've just done no. concepts. We won't bother with that. I'll tell you what we should do, though. We probably should come back in a couple of hours, Debbie, shouldn't we? I think let's we? do that, yeah. And we'll let be no talk of birds. No. <laughs> <laughs> no chance of that. Uh, right, I'll see you back here in a couple of hours. Bye.